I discovered this on Premiere Pro and uh, Media Encoder a few weeks back, and I haven't really seen much of it advertised, nor YouTube videos about it that might help you. So, I thought I'd do a quick video just to show people. Um, if you want to upload a video from Premiere Pro directly to YouTube, this is how you do it. Rather than exporting it and then going, oh, these are the best settings, and then manually uploading it, you can literally upload straight from Premiere Pro into YouTube, and you can pr create presets. So say, for instance, you do boxing and football and cricket or gaming videos or vlogs or whatever, you can predetermine what your uh, upload quality is, your captions, your titles, just like when you upload a video manually. So if we go into uh, Media Encoder to begin with and go to your preset browser, click Window, Preset Browser if it's not there, and click on Create New Preset, and so wait for it, click Create Encoding Preset, so wait for it to load. So we've got a preset here. Now, if you're doing for YouTube, you want it H.264 based on, I would base it on the YouTube 1080p one, although if you want to keep it low res, base it on Twitter 720p, and then just make sure you, ch you check the box match source. Um, that way, if it's a 1080p video, it will be 1080p, although it will still be 2.05 megabits per second, as opposed to the YouTube one, which you'll see is 16. Um, what that does, basically, if you're doing like a Zoom video, or you're doing something very, very basic that doesn't need a lot of movement, do it in low bitrate. It'll upload faster, and when people are watching it on their mobile phone, which is how most people consume YouTube these days, they ain't going to notice the difference. It doesn't really need to be all singing, all dancing, unless you're making something like a trailer that, that needs to look sexy. So to do this, to create a custom preset, so for instance, I'm going to make one here that is for football press conferences. So when I upload a football press conference to YouTube, I can click this preset and it will just upload it. And all I have to do is, is input manually input a title. All the tags will be there. The description will have a nice description in there. I would do this at nice and low res because, again, football press conferences, they're usually long and they're usually quite big files. So I would make it Twitter 720p. I'd go into my video and click match source because, again, my video will be 1080p frame size. I don't need to export in 720. And then you click on publish here, which you may have never seen before. You can scroll all the way down and click YouTube, and you can see I'm already I'm already signed in here. What you do is you add an account. So you open this, and it'll ask you to add your account here, and click on your your email account. Continue to grant access. It'll say login complete. Now there's my channel, my playlists. You can. You'd have to make a playlist within YouTube itself for it to appear here, but you have got um, you have got them all here. So just click in tutorials and how to upload directly to YouTube. Description tutorial on YouTube and then privacy public tags tutorial. Uh, custom thumbnail you can you can select this is something you have to do manually um, Although if you know that every single one of your videos has got the same intro and you want that to be the thumbnail You can have the thumbnail at whatever time code now that will basically stay forever so I click that as none and then I manually do that every time and That's pretty much it. So this tutorial is going to be called um, Tutorial and I'm going to click OK. So now, when I go into Premiere Pro, now if I drag a video in, so let's just get a so post fight social, just a random clip, bring that in there, drag it onto my timeline. It'll create a uh, a uh, video size based on the temp on the video. That video is three minutes long. Command if I do Command M to export it. And I click this to H.264, and you'll see at the very top all of my my uh, customized presets tutorial. And as you'll see, I go in video, match source is selected, and it's on my account. It's going to upload direct to YouTube. It's going to go public. I'm going to change that to unlisted because I don't want it to go live. And then click Q or export. It doesn't really matter. Let's just export it for this period of time. Wait for it to export. 
So there you go, that's exported now. It took a few seconds and it's now uploading to YouTube directly. You've saved yourself possibly five, 10 minutes sat there waiting for a video to export. You know, in the meantime of doing that, you could have just gone straight outside. You could have gone out and just gone to wherever you needed to go. So I'm just gonna quickly log into my YouTube channel, studio.youtube.com. Go into my content and there's my video. And that's it, it's done. And all it's doing, you click on the video, click on that, and obviously the video is processing right now, but there it is. How to upload directly to YouTube. Hope you've enjoyed the video. See you next time.